Let's arm it. Let's uh, take off. Perfect. There's Andre. Hey YouTube land, welcome to my channel. Well in this episode we're going to take a look at the little tiny hawk s and you're saying what is a tiny hawk s? Well let me get the zipper open. That, that's, that's instruction manual. Hang on a second. That's the tiny hawk. All right, I'm going to cut into the video here because I'm sure you want to see this thing fly and you're not too much into hearing what comes in the box and the specs, but we're going to get back to that in a minute. So what I'm going to do now is take the little tiny hawk S in this kit comes a one cell battery and a two cell battery. I'm going to put the one cell battery on, which is really good for flying indoors. I'm going to fly it around the main floor of my house and uh, it's kind of windy outside, but I'm going to try to go through my patio doors outdoors and then back in. So that'd be the first flight with the one cell battery. Then after that, we'll get back to the unboxing and everything that's in the box. And then we'll put the two cell battery in and we'll fly it outdoors. All right, so here we go. Now, so that you can see what I'm seeing as I'm flying, I'm gonna record the video in my Fat Sharks. Now you've probably heard me say this a million times. Fat Sharks are pretty good. They're pretty high resolution for your eyeballs. So you can see a lot of objects make out a lot of detail. But when it records that to the video inside, it just records it in low resolution, really low, like a tiny, tiny, eh, it looks kind of messy, not very good. So the resolution you're gonna see what I'm flying is not what I see in my eyes, double it or triple it that I see better, but it lets you see what I see when I'm flying. So here we go. All right, here I go, arm it, and uh, here we go. Go through my house. I'm going to try to keep it not too fast. There we go. And it's going nice and slow because I'm indoors. The one cell is not too bad. You can go pretty fast, but I don't want to go too fast. Going down the hall into my laundry room. Not a lot of room in here. Let's turn that around. Going down the hallway. And let's take it back this way. Don't want to go too fast. There I am. Let's go in front of me nice and slow. And let's go outside. Beautiful outdoors here. It's pretty windy, so I have to be Two careful. Minutes. That's just my timer counting down how much battery I've set it to have remaining. So there's my backyard. I'm just floating around here. It is pretty windy out. And uh, you see me do a lot of videos back here. So I got to bring it back because the reception will start to go out the farther I get away from the house. It's only a 25 milliwatt. Where am I? There's the doorway over there. So let's bring it back without hitting me in the head as I come in. Oop, the wind is blowing it. Got to go back this way. Here, let's whip it around. Don't want to go on the roof. Whoa, whoa, back down the hallway I go. <laughs> All right, let's take it through the living room and then bring it down for a lad dude. Whoa, I gotta, I'm speeding it up here. Going a little too fast. All right, let's uh, land it over here by the guitar. All right, so that was my indoor flight. And now back to the unboxing and all the specs about this baby. Then I'm going to take it outside with the 2S battery, which will make it go super, super fast. And uh, we'll try it outdoors. Here we go. Let me show you quickly what you get in the case. So you see I have four spare props, some stickers. I got some tools, some extra wires. And I get this big yellow card that tells me that, uh, you know, if I'm going to change the settings of the rates, there's three profiles, one, two, and three, that if I put it on profile one, do not use the 2S battery included in here because 2S with profile one will make the drone go out of control. It comes already in profile two, ready for the 2S battery, so we're all good. In this part of the case, you get the battery charger. It will charge 1S and 2S batteries, and you get the 2S battery, which they include, which is pretty nice. It is a two cell 7.4 volt battery, 300 milliamps, so that's not gonna last too long. You'll probably get just a few minutes of flight time with that. And finally, we have the drone itself with an included battery at the bottom, but that's a one cell battery for indoor flight. And if you wanna do relaxing outdoor flight, you can use that as well. Taking a quick look at the props, you can see they are four blade and look at the design of them. They are designed so that you can do the turtle mode thing, which means that if your drone is like this and you crash and it flips upside down, you just hit the little turtle mode button and flip, your backup. The motors on here are brushless, of course, but because it takes a two cell battery, the KV is insane. It's like 15,500 KV on these things. So they are spinning massively fast. The camera on here is a 600 TVL camera. It's actually quite decent. It shoots out at 25 milliwatts and it does have 40 channels, eight bands, and there's a little button down there to change things, change up your channels and bands, but it does have smart audio so you can do it internally in the OSD. 
My drone comes with an FR Sky receiver, so I have to use a Tyrannus radio. And the bind button for this, you'll have to take the plastic cover off. It's right underneath this little patch on the bottom. The one cell battery is on it, and let's see what it weighs. I don't think it's gonna be too much. 41 grams. All right, I'm out of my field to fly the Tiny Hawk S, but uh, we have a problem because it's extremely windy. Check this out. See that tree behind me? <laughs> That's the wind. Now, if you know anything about quads, which I'm sure you do, they do not fly well in wind unless they're a bigger quad. This thing's a little tiny thing, so I'm gonna put the 2S battery on it and try to fly it out here. Maybe I'll see if I can uh, try to catch these planes. See, there's a plane up there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah. Let's go give it a try. All right, the sun has gone out. Yeah, typical out here. Got my little Tiny Hawk S in the case. And uh, that's all I need is the 2S battery right here and the little Tiny Hawk. And we're pretty much all set. All right, I put my little FR Sky box here. That's for my radio. So I can stick this on here. Power you up. Take my goggles, my fat sharks. Find the frequency, the channel. It says I'm on the channel. Perfect. All right. Don't need my glasses in. Okay, so I'm gonna fly this off my, oh my God, it's dark out here. Okay, now you should be able to see what I see. Andre's over on the field. See my arm out there, but his battery is kind of flat and dead. So he's got to change his battery. So this is the quad sitting down here. Got this on and I'm gonna try not to hit myself in the head. Let's arm it. Let's uh, take off. Perfect, there's Andre. I almost, almost wiped out into him. This is hilarious. So hopefully you're seeing what I see. Look at <laughs> I'm just freaking everybody out here with this little thing. There's Andre going with this plane. I can... Let's see if I can follow this thing. This is pretty wild on 2S. This thing is so small in the wind. And look at this, I can follow this plane. Oh, this is wild. I can't lose this in the bushes, so I gotta bring it back. RSSI low. Can I do flippies? Yeah, little flippies with this. I'm going right into the wind. Whoa! You can just hear the wind howling here. I'm gonna come down lower. That's I love. This is probably gonna run out of power before I get a chance to land it properly. There we go, because it's fighting the wind. This is pretty good though. I can control it really well. Try not to knock Andre in the back of the head. I'm just going around him here. He's probably oh, what? <laughs> wondering what's going on. I'll go over to the guys by the car. There, they're down there. And here I am over here. You just hear it howling by. Look at how fast it goes on 2S in the wind. So it's pretty nice and low. Two minutes. Two minutes. I think this will only go for about two minutes. Oh, I see Andre's plane. There it is. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can catch it. I don't know if I can get close to it. I'm so small, even if I hit it, it would be like a mosquito hitting his plane. I've lost it in the sky. I'm coming back. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. RSSI low. That was low battery. All right, let's go get this baby. RSSI critical. Yes, I know. Now I did put a beeper function on here. There, the beeper's on. Did, did I come close to you, Andre? Telemetry oh, lost. <laughs> Hope I didn't scare you. I, it's, yeah, it, it, uh, I think the battery died. I think it, uh, it's a very tiny 2S battery, so I think I got just the about two minutes flight time. That's it. So it's out here someplace. I turned the beeper on. Let's see if the beeper... Oh, do I hear it? It's here. And it's totally dead. The battery is totally dead. It comes with a 1S and a 2S battery and the 2S battery is extremely tiny. So uh, yeah, I ran out of juice. I knew I would probably get two minutes. I got just under two minutes of flight time. Nice yeah, here, well, check it out. The, Did you see how fast it went in the, uh, the wind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was surprised how well it worked. That's, uh, that little thing was buzzing around That's in the in wind. The, uh, wow. I, I was not expecting to be that impressed with it uh, in the wind. I thought in the wind, it's just gonna flop uh -oh. around, but yeah. I had no problem controlling around. it. Yeah, Good. Yeah. And that's the 2S you're flying. Yeah. And it was a good day. I didn't hit Andre in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Andre's happy. Although you set up. It's nice. <laughs> <That's> nice. <laughs> I did try to come close. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I saw you going around. Going around him, yeah. That's it. 
All right, I think I know the problem with the battery. It is this guy's fault right here. Blame Andre. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my review of the Emax Tiny Hawk S and I will say I'm very impressed with that quad because it actually flew on the 2S battery in the wind which is blowing right now with uh, no issues we had a lot of fun with that so obviously you've seen the video you've seen what it can do you decide for yourself if you need a quad that's inexpensive tiny indoors outdoors well this is probably one to consider it's pretty decent all right I'm gonna put links below check it out if I haven't already showed you what's in the box, well, you'll see it next, but I'm pretty sure I already have, so you've probably already seen it. But uh, keep watching for more reviews and videos, and if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one.